Greetings and welcome to Totality Town. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a sun funnel for safe solar viewing. These are very simple and they are a lot of fun to use. They fall under the category of projection viewing, but they do use a small telescope. Specifically, they're designed to go with small reflectors like this little Newtonian here, or small refractors. If you've got a schmidt cassegrain telescope, don't do it. Uh, sun funnels are not safe to match up with that type of equipment. You can see all the parts that we need here. I'm just gonna dive in and talk about the pieces that you need as we go. The goal is for me to show you this, hopefully all in one take, hopefully no traffic comes by, and you can see exactly how simple it is to do these for yourself. All right, standard oil filter or oil change funnel. Literally got this from the hardware store. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little tab right here. There it goes. Now I need to cut this down to a set length. I'm gonna measure down and I wanna keep the top 10 inches. Now you might ask why 10 inches specifically? Uh, it's, it actually is somewhat of a magic number. We're going to be taking one of your eyepieces for the telescope. So this is a one and a quarter inch diameter eyepiece. And this is going to get, these are going to mount it together. So we're cutting down 10 inches because that's when the neck of the funnel is at about the right diameter to match up with our eyepiece. So we're going to go right here. And this, this is approximate. So you cut down to 10 inches, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two vertical cuts, just a little ways, and you'll see why in a second. All right, I went down, you know, roughly an inch or so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean all of the, uh, the plastic frass off here. It's not gonna hurt anything, but it is annoying. And we don't want it getting into places where it can spoil our view. All right, I've got a little bit of a, a nub there. I can get a knife later and trim that off. It's not real important at the moment. So trying to clear all of the plastic frass, now the reason we cut these two extra slits here is because we're gonna fit our, our eyepiece in there. Now, the thing you need to watch out for is your eyepiece should not include any rubber or plastic parts. So, for example, my eyepiece here is actually not suitable. I would need to remove this guy. You just you know, peel the eye cup off. I can't peel this guy off as easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a, a cheaper, you know, basic eyepiece. Includes no plastic parts. Everything here is, is basic, but metal. This is a 17 millimeter eyepiece. Uh, I'll talk about sizes in a little bit. What we're gonna do is literally just slide your eyepiece in. Take the hose clamp and tighten her down. And all we are doing here is trying to keep the funnel firmly attached to the eyepiece. So don't over tighten it. It just needs to be snug. Now, next piece. This is our projection screen. When I first started doing these back in 2017, the instructions that I read at the time said you need to use a specific type of material for your screen. And so I ordered a big roll of this stuff. I've seen more recent things that say you can literally use an old shower curtain. It can be white or it can be dark, but uh, if you do the shower curtain thing, you need to do like a double layer of it. I've never entirely trusted that since I came across it, 
So I've got the projection screen here. This is literally the type of screen that they use in movie theaters. This is what they're, they're casting the image up onto. And what we're gonna do, eh. Again, I can clean this up with a box knife later. Nothing here is sharp. It's not gonna affect my material. So this literally just goes on. We take our larger hose clamp and just get it ready. I've cut this piece to eight inches square, so it'll comfortably fit over the wide end of the funnel. And then this is part where a second set of hands could be helpful. Open this guy all the way wide. Carefully, I can slip it on from the front and now I'll tighten it back down you can see that's nice and taut. Stretch my material there a little bit, but there's no puncture, it's okay. All right, believe it or not, that is your sun funnel. Now watch how this works. So now we're gonna take our small telescope out here. Um, quick FYI, the aperture of your telescope, your size up here, does matter. You don't wanna let in too much light because if you do, it's going to heat up your secondary mirror and the mirror will be fine, but it's going to melt the, the glues that hold it to the, the mount in here. So you will need to stop down your aperture to a certain size. You need to reduce that opening. You can see that this telescope's cover already has, or cap already has a ring that'll reduce it down. But I've literally done this with larger telescopes and I've taken a paper plate, cut a couple of holes in it carefully, put it on here instead of the cap, just kind of setting it down in. It worked beautifully. It's in. So now we just need to find the sun. Whoop, there we go. Okay, there's the sun. It's fantastically out of focus. And my unstable platform isn't helping here either. We're gonna change the focus. Boom. Beautiful. If you zoom in here, you can actually see these are sunspots on the solar disk today. This is the sun funnel with the 17 millimeter eyepiece put in. You can change the eyepiece out and that'll change the projected size of the sun here. If I put in the 26 millimeter eyepiece, the sun would actually appear smaller. So the way it works is the smaller the number for your eyepiece focal length, the larger your magnification and so the larger this image would be. Sun funnels are great for group settings, whether it's a family event or a school event or some other thing. Whenever there are a lot of young kids running around and you're worried about safety, a sun funnel is a good way to go about everyone being able to see this eclipse at the same time and also keeping everybody safe and preventing accidents. The sun is being projected onto the screen. No one's accidentally, accidentally going to look somewhere uh, and see the sun directly without any filter or anything else and run the risk of damaging their eye. So these are marvelous for group viewing. Solar eclipses look fantastic through these. If you'd like to build a sun funnel for yourself for the solar eclipse or for general solar viewing, all of the parts that I used are listed in the show notes as well as a link to the instruction manual that I followed and found when I first discovered this technique. As far as materials go, everything you can pick up at the hardware store except for the projection screen. Now you can go the double shower curtain route if you like to, or uh, I am selling squares of the material on my website. I'm still trying to get the exact pricing down because I don't know what shipping is going to be and I'd like to keep the cost down to like 12 bucks or less, ideally 10 bucks or less after shipping. So please check my website, totalitytown.net for that. I hope this is helpful to you guys. And thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time here on Totality Town.